Greetings folks, this video is all about the Jumper t Light Radio. It is a multi-protocol OpenTX based radio. Can also accept external nano sized modules. We'll talk more about that later on when we go into the shed and do the unboxing and the technical stuff. But I thought I'd start off by doing some flying. It's probably specifically designed to be used with quads but I'm going to demonstrate it on fixed wing, just to be different. It's a tiny little game controller style radio. Tiny little screen, I actually need reading glasses to be able to read the screen. But it is fully featured, nice Hall Effect gimbals, uh, four switches, all the trim switches, no uh, sliders at all. It's so small, it can fit in a pocket. Like that, so perfect for taking it down the beach and slope soaring, walking to a spot where you're going to fly. Anyway, let's uh, stop talking and get flying. We'll start off with my wonderful old scratch built Tiger Moth X6R FR Sky receiver. Nothing fancy, just a lovely fixed wing, uh, no flight control board, line of sight flyer. I have Expo, reduced rates, differential, throttle cut, everything I need. Don't know if we're going to take off in this long grass. I might have to, might have to hand launch it. That's a pity. There we go. Flying like a beauty. Trim it up a bit. There we go. There's the little radio. Flying a lovely old scratch built tiger moth. The radio feels very small and light in my hands. Uh, it feels Kind of weird with a bigger plane <laughs> really designed for small planes it would make more sense to fly a, a little um a zod drift or something like that with it i suppose or uh, uh tiny little uh, toy planes but uh, yeah it's working beautifully with this gimbals feel very smooth very nice indeed let's try and bring it in for a landing in this long grass it's going to flip over i know Bingo, there we go. So there you go, that's very nice. I'll put a camera on board just to um, complete the experience. Something important to know about this radio is that it only runs on a single 18650 battery. So even though you can put a, a high powered Crossfire Nano long range module on the back there, you've got to use your common sense and uh, power it externally because one single 18650 battery is enough to run the radio but not much else. So now we'll try it on the Eshin Razor. So we go model and then up to razor, enter, select model, yes. This is uh, using the Eshin Safe flight controller up in here, which is identical to the uh, Zod Copilot really, so it's a little simple flight control board. Telling me I haven't set the fail safe, I had better do that. Still haven't got enough satellites, I'll fly it around on uh, manual to start off with. So it feels uh, more suited to a plane like this, for sure.
Oh, yeah, lovely. Made for it. This is a hot little plane, I love it. <laughs> Perfect with the little tea light radio. Just feels appropriate. Gone over behind my head. There's a bit of wind around at the moment, so it'd be pretty wild flying. But, um, Cool little plane and radio combination. It's just made for this sort of thing. Forget the quads, this is what it's all about. Let's put into a bit of a glide. Okay, we're gliding now. Yeah, perfect for a glider. It has that sort of nice, light, uh, smooth and precise feel about it. So we've acquired enough satellites now uh, and we are in stabilised mode. Go out that way. A bit hard to see up there but uh, taking care of itself. Let's do return to home now. Climbing up, circling round. This is a function of the, the uh, Eshin's safe flight control board of course, but it shows that the radio can handle that sort of um, operation. Cool! And I also have it on my WL Toys Warrior buggy, which is running the iNav Rover firmware, uh, and that has full S-port telemetry all coming through onto the screen, tiny little screen. Bit pointless having it on the screen, but it's, uh, it shows you the capabilities of the operating system anyway. So this is full INAV build uh, waypoints, return to home, fail safe, all of that sort of stuff. All right, so let's go into the workshop. We'll do the unboxing and all the technical stuff. So, a lot of fun. Let's have a closer look at it now. This is the box it comes in, fairly basic. We get some funky stickers there with little tea light characters, a bit of a quick start guide there. Here's the little adapter uh, that screws onto the back there so that you can use the TBS Crossfire Nano module uh, and the Ghost module as well, the Ghost Nano, uh, not uh, FRSky R9M and XJT modules. Those things don't really worry me. I won't be using Crossfire. I don't have Crossfire. I'll be using it mostly uh, for slope sawers and, you know, taking it down the beach and... Um, handing off as a trainer radio and things like that. We get a, a battery holder for two uh, 18650 batteries that only uses one USB-C cable. So you get the choice of the JP4-in-1 multi-protocol uh, module or the CC2500 module. CC2500, it can handle FRSky Futaba S. FHSS high tech radio link e sky corona i guess that is yeah corona uh, and the four in one module which is this one adds fly sky hub sand uh, afhds 2a uh, spectrum walkira devo wi fly uh, high sky cyma and asan so it gives you a lot more options if you're just using fr sky receivers then the cc 2500 will do you fine and save you, I don't know, 10 US dollars or something like that. Really, you might as well go for the, the four in one module, I think. So, as I said, runs on one 18650 battery in there, like that. I did note when I put my battery in, it wasn't actually making contact with the metal contacts. Um, I had to bend this one out a little bit further so that it actually contacted both ends. Uh, I know you have to be careful which way you put it in because it doesn't have reverse polarity protection, I believe. That's what I've heard. Let's turn him on. 
there we go. And it has a one, thank you, a 1.3 inch monochrome screen. If you download the voice pack or the SD card contents, I'll give you a link to that in the description. Uh, you also get the voice commands. I've actually got the amber voice command on here. because I like the sound of Amber's voice. Hall sensor gimbals, USB-C data and charging there. It will internally charge the 18650 battery, which is really cool. We also have the 3.5 millimeter plug there. Uh, is that for headphones or just trainer port probably? We also have a couple of uh, holes here for screwing on a mount removable antenna so you can swap for other antennas as well trim buttons for all four channels four switches you've got two two position switches and two three position switches buttons for enter and return and up and down there and system and model buttons there little speaker down here as with all open tx radios pretty much 16 channel and can support up to 60 models. Now I won't be using the, the Crossfire setup, but I believe if you do add the Crossfire Nano module, uh, you can use it up to 25 milliwatts as it is. If you're going to use more than that or more than 100 milliwatts, you need to plug in an external battery to the, to the module. So it kind of limits it to 25 milliwatts without external power. The battery and the SD card are not included, so you need to source them yourself. Now, looking at weight, let's turn it off for the moment. That LED I find too bright. I'm going to put a bit of tape over that just to uh, cut that down because I, I actually get a headache looking at that all the time. So if we compare different sizes, that's the so that's the Jumper T light. That's the Tyrannus X light. It's much bigger and heavier. Little Radio Master. TX12, another smaller radio. There's the uh, the, the Flysky uh, i6 radio, uh, and this for, just for comparison. There's the Monster uh, Radio Master TX16S. The weight of this is about 260 grams, so it's by far the, the lightest radio around. And who would it be suitable for? Would it be definitely be suitable for uh, small hands? would be perfect for a trainer for teaching your children how to use RC uh, or even just uh, I find beach flying you'd almost just put it in your pocket or something like that uh, slope soaring down the beach it'll be absolutely perfect for me but it has all the the power and uh, switches you need to to fly any full-size model doesn't have the sliders on it like the uh, X light does so I, I, as a fixed wing flyer flying gliders and, and the like I really like the sliders so that's one thing that I'd be missing with this one but anyway let's have a closer look at the screen now all right so let's turn him on as you can see that LED is very bright in fact what I'm going to do is put a little bit of black tape across there so the gimbals feel very nice. They are Hall Effect gimbals. Uh, they do feel very light and smooth. On off button here, all the trim switches for each channel. System and model. Let's push the system button and so you can go up down through all the different pages and let's return. Uh, we use the model, uh, left and right through the pages. You can do all the firmware updates. Uh, radio setup, global functions, trainer, hardware, and there's the version there. It's not actually supported by, uh, officially supported by OpenTX just yet, so we'll have to wait for the next update to include the um, T light. But you can get the, you can get what you need from the Jumper website anyway. Push the model button, and we get into setting up the model, and internal and external modules uh, we're on multi-module fr sky x series d16 that's what i use most of the time ppm says xjt but i don't believe it supports it crossfire uh, multi ghost 
espace. Inputs, mixes, see all the normal OpenTX stuff is, is there. Curves, logical switches. I meant to do that. Amber saying I meant to do that. That's how you set that one up. And all the telemetry as well. So there it is. Just a really nice little radio. Lightweight. Inexpensive. Fully featured. Can take modules. All it's missing really are the sliders. And... Uh, and a lanyard as well. I, I would like some sort of lanyard. If I took it down the beach, I would probably have to put a, a strap around it of some sort just to stop dropping it in the sand. But there you go, the Jumper T Light. Not a bad little radio. Thanks for watching.